uh, as a whole. So, yes, so we are adapting our format to what is happening now in the whole area of Israel and Palestine, holding this entire situation in our hearts and our lighted thought. Perhaps, perhaps the main point to hold in our consciousness is the awareness in spite of the pain, the awareness that there are people on both sides, that humanity is universal, and that the recognition of this truth, the recognition on both sides of this truth is the only way out. So today, bringing our humanity to this shared pain, our witnessing capacity, and perhaps by creating a space for, for this, in ourselves, we may help to contain it, to support all those involved, to cope with it in the best possible way. It's not only a local problem, we know, it's a human problem. So Helen from Jerusalem will now say a few words about what is currently happening in the area. And then we will take it into meditation. And today we will not have a sharing after the meditation as we usually do. Um, let us just continue holding the common heart space beyond this online meeting in the times ahead. And um, we are thinking that the situation warrants a continuing vigil on a weekly basis. So we will, we will have a, a, a meditation for the whole Middle East situation every Monday at this time. Okay, please, Helen. Hi, this is Helen from Jerusalem, and uh, I will not exactly talk about the happenings of the time, we read about them, and we, we, we watch them on the media. We are standing on this burning ground. And we are witnessing an outburst of extreme violence in our area. And the respect of human life and human values have been broken by the protagonists of an old age karmic relationship. An ancient karma between the two children of Abraham that should have been solved by the two brothers in the biblical times has not been solved. Instead, it has been and is perpetuated through generations and generations, repeating itself on and on. Time has come that this conflict should be addressed and resolved by the people themselves. 
and not by manipulators of people. Please do not judge either side in this conflict. None of us should judge, but let us hold together with compassion and bring to the light the human pain of both the Palestinian and the Israeli people. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. So let us begin with taking a deep breath. And for a moment to just let go of everything. And just settling into our body. Breathing with the earth. Sensing the pulse of the earth. And we feel our heart and finding within it a point of equilibrium. And let a silence settle into our mind. A calm, open spaciousness. Let us stand side by side as souls, as silent watchers. Joining gently our hearts. And let the care that we share become like a flame, a flame <clears throat> of the will to love, we stand in the will to love. Letting our minds come into resonance. And holding together our shared mental telepathic field. And including in our awareness, the many people around the world whose hearts are also with the people in the Middle East at this time and who stand witness.
visualize ourselves with them, forming a huge circle around the area, a witnessing circle. And let us take a moment now for just observing this entire area of Israel, Palestine, and the neighboring countries. Taking a moment to allow ourselves to sense what is happening in this part of the earth. Standing steady as silent watchers, opening now our awareness upwards to on high, opening our hearts to the love, the help, which we know is available in the higher world. We may imagine it as a golden healing energy, soothing, all embracing. Let's take a moment to just open ourselves to this energy. With all our heart and fixed intent, let us invoke the help of the higher forces. Let the forces of light bring illumination to mankind. Let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. May people of goodwill everywhere meet in a spirit of cooperation. May forgiveness on the part of all be the keynote at this time.
Let power attend the efforts of the great ones. So let it be and help us to do our part. Visualize the golden energy spread over the whole area of Israel, Palestine, and the neighboring countries. Descending like a golden soothing blanket, covering this area in golden light. Standing as a peace commanding presence. Let us strengthen the hands of the people of goodwill in the area. Especially of the decision makers and the advisors and the influencers. All those who care about all people involved and who work behind the scenes to bring about peace.
See the golden energy like a huge vortex coming down. Anchoring in the ground. And staying like a pillar of golden light over the whole area. And see a golden unifying energy spread out from it to the entire Middle East. And throughout the world. Hold our earth for another moment in the will to love. The will to peace. And as an act of rooting, anchoring this vibration in the ground, we sound the great invocation in Hebrew and in Arabic. In the or Shurbedat El. יזרום האור אל דעת האדם, ירד האור על פני האדמה. מנקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, תזרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש. ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם. תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, ושם תוכנית האהבה והאור ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון, ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה את התוכנית על פני האדמה. وليهبط النور إلى الأرض من نقطة الحب في القلب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب إلى قلوب الناس وليرجع السيد الآتي إلى الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها 
من المركز الذي ندعون بالجنس البشري لينتج تسمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض Oh.